Now, my only concern now is that we might not have enough money to stock up on Ultra Balls again. And we gotta catch one more Pokemon on here. This is gonna be the last Pokemon in this side of the woods for us to capture, so... It thankfully won't be too difficult to just stock up um, for just one more fight, but maybe it will be. Who knows? Let's see how much money I have. The massive downpour appears to have stopped. You know, it's just regular rain, and the dive spot disappears. So, let's see. How much money do I have? I have 2,000 Pokemonies. Great. So, how's about I go over to... Uh, we don't need Love Disc anymore as well, so that's good. We can get rid of her. Uh, let's go to... Four Tree, I guess? They should have Ultra Balls. I can't remember if this is one of those games... Some of the Pokemon games, they update their items, like, everywhere in the world, so... Now that I've gotten the ability to buy Ultra Balls somewhere, I can buy them anywhere. Or it might be too early for that, and I have to go to a specific town to get Ultra Balls. Are you the good game? Ooh, actually, I don't think you are, but I lucked out and I wound up at a place that has Ultra Balls. I have 13, and I can only afford 2. Now I have 15. Huh, let's see, what could I sell? Anything good? What do you want to sell? I don't understand why you could sell the fire, water, and thunderstones, but you can't sell a moonstone. Apparently Jigglypuff and Clefairy are just so darn special, and the Nidoran family, apparently. Okay, that should be enough. I sold some TMs and some uh, evolutionary stones, so I could go ahead and stock up on some Ultra Balls, because we need some. Now, conceivably, there are some places I could have just grinded for money, but I ain't got time for that, so... We are just going to go about it this way. It, it's sort of just how I go about it. It's like, oh, this is the end of the game. We don't need it for anything else. It may seem important. Like, we worked so hard to get those items, but now they're being exchanged for a greater good. Kind of weird, but whatever. That's how I go about it. Let's go ahead and get Love Disc out of here. Get back our happy whale of awesomeness. And say hello to our not-so-happy whale of not-so-awesomeness, because it was a pain in the booty to capture. Uh, yeah, nothing else left to do, but head on over to the Weather Institute one final time and see if I can actually run into this thing because it's been eluding me for quite a while. Yes, I know, I forgot to heal. I track weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Presently, a drought has been recorded on Route 118. So, I have noticed that this Pokemon does indeed also appear in different areas, not always the same place. So, maybe every time I went to that place that I thought it appeared, it wasn't actually that place. I was just like, oh, that's the thing that I looked up. It's right there, so I should just go there. No, that is not the case. So, 118. Find out where that is. There we go! Route 118. You can see it's all glowy and stuff. That means we are here on time. So, the catch is that there is a cave around here that got opened up recently. That wasn't here before. Gotta look for one of these things that's not like the others. Uh, just run around here? Of course not. Right here, this is the cave you're looking for. It can appear in a couple different areas, but basically whenever, whatever route he tells you to go on, you go there and look for a special cave. You do not need any HMs to access it. The Terra Cave. Sounds like terracotta. Nothing of interest in here so far, but... Now might be a good time for you to save, because I'm sure you know what's coming next. Well, aren't you a sight for steamy eyes? This is the legendary Pokemon Groudon! With an epic voice crack to get us started! His ability Drowds makes it so it is always sunny in Philadelphia, which kind of works against it when you think about it. It is a ground type, so it's weak to solar beam, and it makes it so we don't have to charge up for it. So I appreciate that, but it's still going to be a force to be reckoned with, I'm sure. Let's just start with double team. Again, I want to... I think it does... Yep, it does have Fissure. Fissure is... It doesn't affect... Oh, I just thought of that. <laughs> Fissure is a one-hit KO move that uh, is just like sheer cold. It one-hit KOs but has low accuracy and only works on Pokemon that are lower leveled than you. However, it's a ground attack, so it doesn't matter for Swellow. 
Okay then, fine by me! Go ahead and be dumb and use up your 1-hit KO attacks on my flying type Pokemon. I am very, very okay with that. And it also knows Rest, of course. I was wondering about that, so its moves are Fissure, Rest... Uh, if I had to guess on the others, it probably has Double Edge. Uh, probably doesn't have Surf, but... Has something parallel to it, like... A Fire Attack, maybe? Or... I don't know if it has Solar Beam. Uh, I think I have one more double team in me, so let's go ahead and do that. And wow, I lucked out pretty well on this actually. So it can't use- it just keeps on using Fissure! It better have some sort of a way to hit flying types, because that'd be really weird if it didn't. I know Steel Wing's super effective, but I don't want to risk it because I don't know how much damage this thing's going to take. Oh boy, Groudon, Groudon, Groudon. Now, I was thinking of uh, which one I like more of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so I just went with Alpha Sapphire because um, I never had Ruby or Sapphire back in the day. I started with Emerald, so I didn't really have any attachment to either Legendary. I just went with uh, Alpha Sapphire because uh, I just sort of liked... Um, oh, it does have Fire Blast, okay. Which is, again, only 5 PP, though, so it doesn't have that many options for move. So Fire Blast, Fissure, Rest, and presumably Double Edge, so... Okay then, I guess that's its move set. But what I was saying is that I wait, was that one hit or two? Is it gonna die now? Uh no, but it came really stinking close. Okay, cool. And it used rest, of course. But yeah, um I didn't really have any attachment to either of the legendary, so I just sort of went with uh Alpha Saf or er, Alpha Sapphire, yes. Because uh, I already had Fire Red, which was a red cartridge game, so I just wanted to go with the blue cartridge game for variety's sake, so that's pretty much my only reason why I went with it. But when looking back on it, I I don't know, I kind of like the Team Magma characters more. Uh, Team Aqua has, like, uh, the cool Archie design. Like, I like whenever you defeat him in battle, he's just like, huh? huh? Like, he's interested in you. Like, he's interested in your strength and stuff. It looks cool and stuff. I don't know. But um, when you defeat Maxi in Omega Ruby, he gets all, like, spazzed out. And, like, he drops his glasses and then he tries to recompose himself super quickly. And I, when I saw that, I thought it was really stinking funny. But then, like, when trying to decide between which uh, underlings I like more, uh, between Shelly and Matt, or the other characters, which I don't even know the names of. I actually like the other characters that I don't even know the names of, because, I don't know, I like the look of this character, but I also like the look of this character. Uh, moral of the story, guys are lame. <laughs> Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know, I don't really have a major preference to Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire. It was just like, I don't seem to care, just get me a Gen 3 game. That I may or may not like, but I did like it, so it all worked out in the end. I use return once more. Hopefully, it doesn't get a critical because it's in slightly less health than before. And it wakes up and uses rest. I'm sensing a pattern here. Uh, I want to know what its other move is, though. I I'm just gonna keep on assuming it's double edge, but still, you know, it's weird that it hasn't even tried using it yet. This is definitely gonna be the easier of the two fights, though, because oh, I know. Uh, What's his face? Kyogre had Hydro Pump, not Surf, so it's sort of the same as Groudon in that case, because it only has a 5 PP, somewhat low accuracy attack. But it doesn't get the same type of attack bonus from Fire Blast, which is unfortunate for it, but not for us. So we have a better chance of surviving things. It was always weird, like, I don't know, the matchup between Kyogre and Groudon, it seems like an obvious, it, like, an obvious battle of who's gonna win, because when you see the battle of the two of them on the water, that's just it, it's on the water, Kyogre, or Groudon's standing on that tiny little piece of land just so it doesn't stink and drown, Kyogre could just like tip it over like that scene in Finding Nemo with Gerald, and he'll just be done for, there's no way Groudon could survive it, but somehow it's an even matchup, even though it's a ground type, I get it, it could have Solar Beam potentially, but still, it's just weird and stuff, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's sort of the point of the plot of Alpha Sapphire, of Ruby and Sapphire is just that the two villains aren't very smart when thinking their plans through, but like, I want to get rid of all the water, and then the other one's like, I want nothing but water, but we need both, Rayquaza's is all like, you gotta stop fighting, it's all about the harmony and working together and all that jazz, and like, I give Rayquaza like that chill hippie accent or whatever, but I don't know, it's just weird, another reason why I don't think Gen 3 is all that great and stuff. But whatevs, apparently I'm the only one who thinks that, because everyone is just all about that Gen 3. My theory is that, because I know this wasn't uh, super popular when it first came out, because, uh, like I said, a lot of people were going to, oh geez, a lot of people were going to Yu-Gi-Oh! around this time, so I feel like when people were uh, playing the newer Pokemon games, and I can't believe I survived that, 
I feel like when people were playing the new Pokemon games and weren't uh, fans of like the new ones with like their new mechanics or Pokemon designs or whatever, they go back to Ruby or Sapphire thinking like they didn't give it that much of a chance because they were like switching to Yu-Gi-Oh that time so they didn't really get to experience it back then. And then they play it and it's like, oh my god, it's just like the Pokemon from my childhood that I never got to experience because I sort of skipped out on it. It does have Solar Beam. Solar Beam instead of Double Edge, interesting. Okay, well I kind of prefer that so I don't have to worry about recoil damage. But whatever, let's finally try and throw a stinking ball at it. Of course, we're gonna start with a Pokeball. But yeah, that's sort of my theory as to why, like, uh, Gen 3 games suddenly got uh, really popular all of a sudden. Because I remember it being, like, really unpopular for a while, and then out of nowhere it was just like, Gen 3 is the best gen, and it sort of seems to stay that way. I don't know, I'm, it's fine if you like Gen 3, it's just that. I don't think it really changed that. Uh, playing this bonus after stuff has changed my opinion on it and it's weird as someone who doesn't like gen 3 i like omega ruby and alpha sapphire uh for reasons like there's we'll get into it later in a few more bonus episodes but there's a lot i could see why people don't like those games and i'll definitely agree with you on that but for some reason it works for me and i have no idea why so whatever i'm just the weird one i'm the weird one who likes all the weird stuff and stuff that was a gem and a half of a sentence. Speaking of gem now, we already talked about Steven Universe. Let's talk about something else. Uh, I got nothing else to talk about. I'm a complete blank slate, a new page of endless potential and possibilities, but it, I'm at the whim of a nincompoop, so there is no hope for any potential to be spewed from this pencil. This is very, very awkward. Uh, ugh, I remember just catching some Z's, I see. Get one more return in. I, it is sort of an annoying setup because, like, now that I think about it, Kyogre just had, like, the perfect matchup of moves to where my strategy worked out okay. But with Groudon, it's like it's using all of its rests up right now, so kind of annoyed on that front. So I'm just waiting for it to run out of rest so I don't have to deal with this anymore. As soon as it runs out, then I think I'll be good to go. But I think I have to go through 10 singing PPs of rest, and it takes two to three, it takes three turns for uh rest to wear off so that's kind of annoying just having to wait that long and wow apparently ground isn't weak to steel i'm wrong i guess is it steel that's weak to ground probably i don't know uh, let's go with return I never got that animation like it's just trying harder and harder because it cares about your trainer or something like that i don't know sunlight is strong yes it is indeed uh, go and return, 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 return to sender. And woke up, and he used rest. Oh, fire blast, how nice variety. Suddenly is strong. Now let's throw an actual ball. It took this long just to throw a Pokeball. Like, this is what I'm not super happy about right now. So, let's go with an Ultra Ball. See if that's any better. Maybe we'll luck out. We don't have to be here for too long. Yeah, he uses rest some more. Great. Uh, uh, rest does have 10 PP, right? It's not 15. Oh boy. I feel like it gets changed. Changed as the generations go by. Uh, I wish I could just be confident enough to do that, but no. Return, 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 return. Go down with the HP. That's not a whole lot. I remember doing like slightly more. I, I guess Groudon is the more defensive of the two. Uh, let's see. Go, a go, a go, 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 go. I think no. I think Groudon specializes specializes in physical attack and physical defense, and then Kyogre's special offense, special defense. That's probably how it works. Surprised I kept the Pokemon Bios on my uh, computer this entire time. Like, I gotta learn how to like. I'm always just against it because like it takes effort. I'm always afraid I'll mess something up like in the middle of a project. I was supposed to do it between in between years six and seven, like trying to clean up my computer and like. Uh, have things updated and upgraded and uh, come up with a system in which things are more organized because I've just had these uh, bios for the legendaries on my computer since the Emerald Let's Play like back when it first started in year 5 and I haven't like put them on a external hard drive or anything I just kept them on my computer and just hoped that I didn't accidentally delete them I kept all the assets and everything and it's been kind of stinking annoying you'd think I would just like try and fix that but no I'm just like being weird in how I organize everything I was trying, I was gonna hope to have everything like updated and stuff between year six and seven, but it wound up having year six bleed into six, seven, so I had a little to no time to do so, and I'm out of returns, cool. So I kind of 
pooed in that department. I, you know, I still could have done it, but like, it was just sort of paranoia. And it was just like, oh, I could wait another year to update my computer. Oh boy, this is gonna be one heck of a journey, I'll say that much. And that's a, not a lot of damage, so this is sort of unfortunate. Swallow doesn't do that much damage to Groudon, so... Uh, I appreciate not getting hit with anything, but still having to put up with all these stinking rests. And it's still stinking going. I need to check real quick. Does it have 10 PP or 15 PP? I can never remember. I think I think it does change as the generations go, uh, go on. Let's go to good old Bulbapedia. And let's find out if I am correct on that. Rest. The move. Be excited. Be, be excited. 10 PP. It's 10 PP? in gen 3 effect gen 1 gen 2 gen 3 it's just always been 10 pp okay cool i think i'm i also could possibly be getting mixed up with recover and now i haven't been keeping track of how many times it's used rest so it doesn't really matter now that i know it has 10 pp i'm just like i have to guesstimate has it used it 10 times i don't stinking know it is i do find it amusing that i've gone this entire time with only using swallow but still it's annoying that i could just hardly get any damage in on this thing. <sighs> use Solar Beams, that makes me believe it might be out of PP for that, so let's just use Steel Wing. Uh, Steel Wing does raise our defense, which isn't really helpful here because its only attacks are special. Uh, yeah, Solar Beam and Fire Blast and... Are you a physical attacker? I don't know, maybe it's just defense and I'm just completely wrong on everything. Who knows? Who cares? I just want to catch this stinking dinosaur man and we'll be good to go. Oh wow, it actually got an attack in! How special of you, Groudon! And okay, we're still good. Sunlight is strong. I probably should heal because if he uses Fire Blast, I'm done for, but I'm gonna live on the wild side a little bit and go for another Steel Wing. Just getting the yellow health and using Solar Beam again. It missed! And the sunlight continues to be strong. It's always sunny. I've said it already. Let's go with an Ultra Ball, finally! Maybe we've just hardly gotten anything done. One, two, Solar Beam doesn't do anything cool, because I am the Evasion King. The King of Evasion. Use it again. I know I could lower its health even more, but... Uh, I probably should do that. Okay, now I definitely need to do that. Uh, I just really want this to be done and over with. I am excited that... Uh, Here's the thing about me recording, like, literally everything out of order. I didn't have this problem, like, year... I remember the first time I did this was, like, in year four or whatever. I just wrapped, wrapped up super... Or year three, kind of. I wrapped up year three super early, and I was like, I'm gonna go record a bunch of other jank right now, because I have the time to. And it just turns out that, like, a lot of the LPs of year four uh, were very easy to record, like Mario Party, The Walking Dead games, Life is Strange. So they got recorded really stinking quickly, and Nights in the Dreams as well, there's just a short LP. So I wound up being like a million LPs ahead for year four. And now I'm sort of doing it again with like, well, it's a bit different because right now I'm not uploading anything. So I can't really say I'm ahead if I'm not uploading anything at all because I still got to edit all this jank. Oh boy. Like part of me wants to hire on an editor, but at the same time, like I feel like it wouldn't help me all that much because I would always want to know exactly how the video is. And like, it's that's good. You should check to see what it is. But I feel like if I were to hire an editor, I would want it to be an editor in which you already are out of, you're out of PP already? What? Jeez, okay. So I can't really attack it anymore because it's going to be hurting itself with struggle. So this is going to be a stinking fun match of excitement, I guess. Okay, that's a lot more damage than I thought you were going to do. I do have a lot of stinking evasion up so I should use that to my advantage so let's go ahead and heal swell I only have five whole restores left to yeah, I was just saying like what was I saying something about like recording stuff but yeah if I had an editor I would want it to be like an editor that I trust so stinking much that I wouldn't want to look at the videos after they've been edited I would just want to trust them like I want to clone myself and have the clone do it and then I'll just trust whatever they did because it's me and I would agree with everything that they did so that's sort of what I would want an editor for if I would have to watch it anyway then I might as well be editing it on my own I know it's just sort of the multitask thing, like it's easier to just watch a video than to like edit through it because it's not just as easy as sticking the audio together and uh, connecting the commentary with the video and then leaving it at that. No, there's a lot more to it than that, but I don't know, I feel like if I hired an editor, 
then I would be getting, I should be getting the most out of it by not having to look at the final product. As weird as that sounds, but whatever. Maybe that's just a me thing. And uh, apparently Groudon is the offense king because Kyogre did not do nearly this much damage to a uh, Swellow whenever we sent, whenever he was using Struggle. So that's kind of unfortunate. That I would have to keep on using full restores. So for now, I guess I'll just keep on going with what I have. Uh, if I lose Swellow, then I lose Swellow. I'm just gonna have to deal with that. I'm just gonna keep on trying to throw Ultra Balls. I don't think we're gonna get it this time around though, because I'm surprised it ran out of singing PP Soil. And like, we went this entire time with only Swellow, and it's cool to know that I could get away with that, but it's just an inconvenient setup to like the point where I. When I finally have the opportunity to start throwing balls, it runs out of PP and starts using Struggle, so I can't attack it anymore. Which is kind of lame. So, yeah, this is going to be annoying to say the least. And I just don't feel confident with using attacks on it because it's going to lose HP every time it actually lands a hit. So I just want to go ahead and try catching on green health. Hopefully it can be done. Uh, I don't think anything will ever top my stinking Raikou thing. I'm so happy that worked. Like, I was telling the backstory of what happened in my first playthrough, and I was hoping it would happen again, and it singing did. I won't spoil exactly what happened, but if you haven't watched my Coliseum LP, you should do that. I think it, th I think it is the best of my Pokemon LPs, because I'm just having so much stinking fun with it. The graphics are updated, and it's just one of the best games of all time, so it's a good time. You should experience it. Uh, the game itself and the LP. A uh, critical hit, cool, a critical struggle. Now it's in the yellow health. Huh. Well, it's gonna be hurting itself either way, so how's about we have Salabi confuse it? Is that a good idea? Maybe, possibly. Suddenly is strong. It I would assume Groudon's super slow. Uh but not slow is not slower than Salabi. Uh I remember I was actually considering giving uh, nicknames for all my Pokemon for the after game, and I was gonna just nickname Salabi, Salabi instead of Sableye, just so I could actually be right about the pronunciation, but nah. I don't know, I just don't like nicknames, and I've thought of what nicknames would be for my Pokemon for Gens 2 and 3, but I don't know, I just don't like them, so I just don't want them. Go with Ultra Ball again! This is the LP that never ends. It's confused. What does more, the struggle damage or the confusion damage? D uh, pretty much, nah, not pretty much the same. I think it does more damage when struggling. Uh, let's try Ultra Ball again. I'd be very stinking happy if I actually did get on the first stinking cycle. Like, the first attempt, the first battle. Come on, Groudon, don't you want to be cool? You're so angry against Kyogre. Kyogre was a pain in the booty. Do you not, do you want to be better than Kyogre? Don't be a pain in the booty. Just let me catch you right now. We'll be good to go. But no, it probably won't work like that. Oh, I wish I could put it to sleep or something. Trico, why can't you learn stinking sleep powder? That'd be so stinking useful right now. Uh, bask in the sunlight, Trico. is like... I'm surprised I went this whole time without talking about how Trico is basically a T-pose. I don't know why that became such a big meme nowadays, but whatever. I'm talking about memes, Groudon. You know I've run out of things to talk about when we start talking about memes and stuff and I acknowledge the game design or something. So come on, just hurry up and let me catch you. This is not going well. Let's catch you in the Ultra Ball. I doubt you want the aesthetically pleasing thing because the Pokeball thing, I'm just not even gonna bother because it's gonna be a waste of time and I know it. So don't even wanna do that right now. Uh, another critical hit and Jesus. Uh, does it take more recoil damage because of critical or does it still only matter as a like what HP? I don't see it. No, I don't care. Happy whale, we haven't seen you in a while. Let's go. <laughs> Sunlight is strong. Warrior needs food badly. It's sort of like Kyogre and Groudon, except I'm a lot happier because I'm a happy whale. Are you a happy Dino? Survey says no. Struggle! Yay! And Groudon's dead. If only it was Orange Aid, then I'd feel okay with jumping in right now. Everybody go get off the floor! Everybody walk the dinosaur!
Oh, a bit of a different time this time around. Okay, let's see what Destiny has in store for me. Hey Siri. Does lowering stats make it easier to capture Pokemon? I found something on the web about does lowering dad make a PDF to capture Pokemon? Check it out. At least you tried, Siri. Well, Repeat ball? You almost made a miracle happen while we were trying to fight Kyogre. This is your last chance to shine. Unless I have to redo this fight again, in which case you'll probably get another chance. Don't let me down. I believe in you. Of course not. And the hits just keep on coming. In case you want to see what fish you look like, there it is. Yes! Oh, I was so stinking worried because I kept on trying to body slam it, being all like, oh, I gotta get a paralysis in, but it wasn't working. I was like, oh god, now I just wasted this entire segment. I'm gonna have to reset. Oh my stinking god, thank you. We did it. We've caught Groudon, and now we have all three legendary Pokemon from Generation 3. Groudon, the continent Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. Give a nickname. Queen Latifah, cause she's saying walk the dinosaur, I'm pretty sure, in that one movie. Or maybe I'm just crazy. Oh, we stink and did it. Oh my god. This is my first time catching Kyogre and Groudon. I'm pretty sure this is also my first time catching Rayquaza without the Master Ball. And this is also my first time catching uh, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. This LP may not have been the most enjoyable at times, but. It was still really eventful, to say the least. Huh. But with that, we have caught the last Pokemon we've been looking for in Pokemon Emerald. There's still some more we need to catch on the Alpha Sapphire side of things, but we'll save those for later. For now, let's heal up a bit. Or a lot, like the entirety. And the guy at the top left, I'm getting like deja vu, like, part of me thinks he's a very funny NPC who does a thing, I don't remember if I showed him off in the LP, but let's see, do you have anything interesting to say? Hey yo, they call me the hipster, I'll teach you what's hip and happening. Okay, I'm off to a good start. But hey, I taught you what's hip and happening already. I'd like to spend, spread the good work to other folks. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we can't be hipping and happening more than once. We are an old trend that is long gone. My only regret is that... Wait, no, I say Kyogre and Groudon. I never say Groudon and Kyogre, but which one appears in the Pokedex first? I don't know. It's a lot of little nitpick things, so whatever. We got ourselves Kyogre and Groudon, as well as the three Regis and Rayquaza. Oh, my stinking god. I like how it's like, the Regis, Rayquaza, Love Disc, Latios, Kyogre, Groudon. That's weird. But yeah, the only thing we can't really show off is Latios. I'm, we did show me capturing it, but unfortunately we can't see both of them in my PC because I don't have access to a Game Boy Advance uh, e-reader card or the e-reader cards and the mixed records and all that jazz that's required for getting an Eon ticket. It's really sick and difficult. Maybe in the future if I could get an Eon ticket for Alpha Sapphire, then we will have another bonus video. But for now, we are done with catching Pokemon in Generation 3. As for Generation 6, 
as, or as I call it, Generation 3.5, or I've never called it that, I just don't really think of Alpha Sapphire as Generation 6, I just say it's a remake of Generation 3 even though it has Generation 6 elements, but whatever! We still have some unfinished business there. So, let's return to the 3D world and see what's going on.